My name is Kate Chaplin, and I go with, I'm a filmmaker, author, and public speaker. <laughs> uh, I knew I wanted to get into filmmaking when I was about 10 years old. Uh, I saw Charlie Chaplin's The Gold Rush, and there's a scene within that where Chaplin eats his own shoe. And something in my brain switched to, how did they fake that? So then I had to go to a place called the library. I believe some people have heard of it. This was before the internet. So I ended up learning a lot about Charlie Chaplin, a lot about filmmaking. And that's when I wanted to be behind the curtain. I mean, it just, it really, it, it fed my soul and I wanted to know more about how they made movies. So around the age of 10 uh, is uh, right when I really knew I wanted to work in movies in some way or another. <laughs> My name is Steve Gibson. I'm a producer and director that also does some editing. I started getting into production when I was about 18 years old, and that was at a local cable access station where I was growing up. And so that's a place where I first started learning about cameras and switchers and um, lighting and sound. And uh, back then it was big tape machines and AV roll and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so I started doing those live shows, city council meetings and fairs and, and all that, and then started meet meeting people. Uh, that were doing weddings and social and activities and stuff. And getting, and I started getting hired out as a freelancer, having met people at the station. My name is Chad Wren, and I kind of dabble in a little bit of everything. I was watching uh, a Quentin Tarantino film, and it was uh, Reservoir Dogs. And I was like, I really enjoy the way that this is filmed and written. And I feel like this is something that is not at all like unreachable. Um, like as someone who was an amateur as myself. So that was really like my awakening. I was like, I, this film I thought was brilliant and I, I want to do the same thing. I want to create like beautiful pieces of work. And maybe I haven't gotten to that point yet, but it really opened my eyes that, you know, you could make a living and make some really nice things out of it. Hi, my name's Rollin Bingham, um, and I'm a director and cinematographer. I was in fifth grade when I kind of realized I wanted to get into filmmaking. Um, not not so much as a career, but more as just like a hobby. Um, I found a VHS, really old school, huge uh, camcorder. My brother and sister would just make um, lots of little home videos uh, as much as we possibly could, just going through stacks of VHS cassette tapes. Um, and then, I mean, it kind of just continued from there as, as like a fun hobby and something that I really loved doing. And, um, and yeah, now, now within the last year or two, it's, it's been a very, uh, focused drive. Like, this is what I want to do. And I'm going to pretty much do everything I can to like fulfill that dream, I guess. My name is Jessica Paquin. I am a producer at Fiston Post Film. I first got into filmmaking about seven and a half years ago, um, thanks to, uh, my new boyfriend. Steve Gibson, and he's an extremely creative person, um, but I noticed a lot of missing elements in um, the logistics of getting uh, the whole process completed. Um, and it occurred to me, it was almost an aha moment of, I, I actually could understand what's missing and what we need to get ahead of time in order to make this all work. I think I might be pretty good at this. And then when I actually tried it and applied it, it, it seemed to work out very well. My name is James R. Mattern, and I'm a director. I started getting into filmmaking when I was probably 11 or 12. My aha moment in filmmaking probably came when I saw E.T., and I really started noticing the difference uh, be the Steven Spielberg kind of stuff. That was when I thought, oh, that's really neat, and that's the things I wanted to do and try to portray. Mm -hmm.